Hello friends, in this essay I'm going to present a somewhat radical argument. I would like to persuade you that journaling, writing and documentation are what preserved our civilization and culture from destruction and oblivion. Let's take a look at one of the masterpieces of the Western art, which I believe can explain and convey my idea the best. I'm sure you've seen this fresco by Raphael many times in your life. But how many figures from this famous fresco you can name and identify? In the center of it, we can see two great philosophers, Plato on the left and Aristotle on the right, both engaged in conversation with each other. Raphael modeled the figure of Plato after Leonardo da Vinci, from whom he learned how to draw accurate perspective. But if we zoom in and if we look closer, we can find famous thinkers scattered in various parts of this fresco. Thinkers such as Anaximander, Pythagoras, Archimedes, and even the conqueror Alexander the Great himself. It is important to remember that there is nothing superficial in great art. Every brushstroke, every color and every figure is intentional. If Raphael Santi placed someone in his masterpiece, it is because he had something to convey to us. However, there is one hidden figure in this fresco whose identity we do not know. This mysterious introvert is placed on the right hand side of the fresco. He is intensely focused on his writing and we can't see even his face. His hair is fluttering in the otherwise windless square. He is a nameless figure surrounded by the most famous thinkers in history. Why did Raphael place this unknown, mysterious figure among the greatest thinkers in history? I believe that this mystical figure represents Mimosini, the divine spirit of memory and documentation, and in some sense of journaling as well. There is a strong foundation to believe in this theory, because during the Renaissance, artists and thinkers knew that the masterpieces they created today could easily vanish tomorrow. The flow of time has a violent tendency to indiscriminately destroy everything in its path. The only equal force that could withstand this powerful predicament is the goddess Mnemosyne. She not only separates the wheat from the chaff, but she also preserves the wheat. The Florentines knew this because they lived at a time when many ancient works of philosophy, which long were considered to be lost, were unearthed by manuscript hunters such as Vespasiano da Bisticci and Poggio Bracciolini. Bracciolini, for example, found a book on the art of rhetoric thought to be long lost, written by Roman philosopher Quintilian, in one of the French monasteries. It was hidden in one of the damp storage rooms, which wasn't accessed for years. The monks had no clue about the value of this book, hence no need to preserve it either. Bracciolini couldn't believe his eyes when he saw that one of the greatest books on rhetoric was soaking wet and covered in mold. He bought it from monks for insignificant price and brought it back to Florence, where his patron Cosimo de' Medici was building the first universal library in the world. Quintilian's Institutio Oratoria was just one of the lost treasures out of many that were discovered at that time. These discoveries both inspired and terrified contemporary Florentine thinkers and artists. If a work by a great philosopher such as Plato can easily vanish, what can then happen to my creations? Raphael might have asked himself. Whilst mathematicians, philosophers and astronomers discuss their ideas, our mysterious introvert, who we can now call Mnemosyne, listens to them carefully and writes everything down. Her purpose is to preserve ideas for the next generation. She knows that every idea expressed, but not preserved, 
will vanish and become useless. Her hair flutters while she does this, and you might have noticed that the hair of other figures in this fresco is completely still. Once again, there is nothing superficial in great art. This acts as a symbol. The wind symbolizes the flow of time. What is memory if not an experience preserved in time? This is the purpose of our magical and mysterious introvert. It was her who saved Quintilian's lost book for Bracciolini. It was her who continues to preserve great paintings, sculptures, manuscripts for us to enjoy and absorb. By placing Mnemosyne in his fresco, Raphael asks this goddess to preserve his creations as well. The truth is that we are all Mnemosyne, and we all can act like her. In fact, she preserves art and culture through us, if we will. So if you want to keep a journal, but don't know what to write in your journal, then remind yourself of this mysterious introvert. Write as if you are her, the goddess Mnemosyne, who listens to the ideas of the great so she could preserve them for the future generations. It is one of the greatest purposes of keeping a journal.